welcome to learn about clocks and we are going to learn a very important question related to clocks that is at what time between 5 and 6 the hands of clock will be together so the question is saying us we have to find the time and the time must be between 5 and 6 it can be 5.15, it can be 5.40, 5.45, 5.55, 5, it can be any time between 5 and 6. And the next condition is the hands of the clock must be together. Now to get a better idea about this question, we represent this question in the form of diagram. So here, see, here you see, this is the diagram. Now if you notice in this clock, you see according to the question the time must be between 5 and 6 and if you notice in this clock these hands are showing us that the time is between 5 and 6 and the next condition is the hands of the clock must be together so here you can easily see this is a hour hand and this is a minute hand and these are together now now the question asks us it, it needs at what time this condition happens. So we have to find this time. We have to find this exact time. We don't know exact time but we know these hands are together and these are between 5 and 6. And now we have to find this exact time shown by these hands. Now to solve these type of questions or to find this time we will consider a reference line so you see we consider a reference line which which points to 12 now what I mean by saying it reference line I mean by reference line is all the angles made by these hands will be measured with respect to this reference line so you see, now you see, uh, these hands are here and these are making angle this. So we have measured this angle with respect to this reference line. So all the angles made by these hands, hover hand and minute hand will be measured with respect to this reference line. Now to find the this exact time we will find the angle made by these hands so first we find the angle made by these hands now to find the angle made by these hands we will have to find how much time these hands take to go from this position to this position you see this is a reference line so we will may first find out how much time these hands are taking to go from this pos reference position to the required position so first we talk about the this minute hand now suppose the minute hand is present at reference line initially because this is a reference line this is a reference position so we take minute hand first at reference position now the required position is this I hope you can see the required position is this now now I ask you how much time this minute hand you remember this is a minute hand so how much time this minute hand which points to 12 will take to go from this reference position to this position so you see how much time it is taking from for going from this position to this position now we don't know this exact time so we suppose or imagine that this minute hand takes x minutes to go from this position to this position this is the required position you see so we write x minute so this minute hand this is a minute hand by shown by green color 
it is taking x minutes to go from this position to this position x minutes now to to find out the angle made by this minute hand with respect to this line we consider a new concept we consider this concept now this is a clock if you notice it is a circle okay in a circle we know the angle is 360 degree and if you notice here again then you will find gaps between these numbers you see this is a gap between 12 and 1 and it is a gap between 1 and 2 it is a gap between 2 and 3 so all around the clock you will find gaps between numbers and if you count these gaps then you will find that these gaps are 12 in number okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 these are 12 in number there there are total 12 gaps now all around the circle there are total 12 gaps and we know in in a circle the angle is 360 degree so we can say 12 gaps have 360 degree then one gap will have 30 degree so this gap is of 30 degree this gap is also of 30 degree so each of these gap is of 30 degree now we come to next point now suppose this is a minute hand it is a minute hand and it is present at 12 12 now after 60 minutes it will go all around the circle you see after 60 minutes it will go all around the circle and it will come again to the same position so so after 60 minutes it will cover 360 degree so you see the minute hand in 60 minutes cover 360 degree so in 1 minute it will cover 6 degree so you remember this last point this point in the minute hand in one in one minute covers 6 degree so here we have x minutes here you see the minute hand is making uh, or we can say after x minutes after x minutes this minute hand goes from this position to this position and in one minute it makes 6 degree so in x minutes it will make 6x degree okay so the angle made by this minute hand for from go, by going from this position to this position will be 6x degree now we talk about the hover hand this is the hover hand shown by blue color or can say purple color whatever you say this is this is a hover hand now we have to find the angle made by this hover hand with respect to this reference line okay now to to find the angle made by this hover hand with respect to reference line first we calculate the time taken by this hover hand to go from this position to this position okay suppose the hover hand was at the reference line because this is a reference reference line so we uh, at the start all we consider all the position at reference line so this is a hover hand which points to 12 now i ask you after how much time this hover hand will go to this position this is the required position so you see the hover at the start the hover hand is present here after one hour it will be it will point to 1 o'clock it will point to 1 after 2 hour it will point to 2 so after 5 hour it will point to 5 okay so when the, when this hover hand points to 5 it means it is a 5 o'clock time is 5 o'clock and the minute wave hand will be here the minute hand will point to 12 of 12 and we we have known that after x minutes this minute hand goes from this position to this position this is the required position so you see when the hover hand is x at at 5 when the hover hand is present at 5 so it it will to go from 5 to the required position it will take x more x more minutes so here you see after 5 hours this hover hand goes from this position to this position which points to 5 and after x minutes more after x minutes more it will go from this 5 position to the required position because this minute hand when the hour hand is presented 5 the minute hand will be at 
and the required position is this so after x minutes if we have imagined if we have supposed that after x minutes this minute hand goes from this position to this required position so our hand is taking x more minutes to go from 5 position to the required position so we can say this hover hand will take 5 hours to go from this position and x more minutes to go to the required position so the hover hand is taking 5 hours and x minutes to go from this position to this position okay now we, we will find the angle made by this hover hand with respect to the reference line now first you see 5 hour and x minute minutes can be written as 5 into 60 minutes plus x minutes so here we total get 300 plus x minutes these are equal we have we have said it in the term of hour 5 hour and x minute and we have said it in the term of minutes this is 300 plus x minutes these are equal time now we have to find the angle made by this hour and with respect to this line to find the angle to made by this hour and with respect to reference line we consider this you see suppose this is a hour end suppose this is a hour end which points to 12 after 1 hour or after 60 minutes this hour end will point to 1 o'clock 1 it point to 1 after 60 minutes so here we see in 60 minutes so this hour end is covering this complete gap you see this is a gap between 12 and 1 so in 60 minutes it this hover end is covering this complete gap and we also know this complete gap is made up of 30 degree so we can say the hover hand in 60 minutes makes 30 degree now if hover end makes 60 minutes if hover end in 60 minutes makes 30 degree then in 1 minute it will make half degree okay now here you see this hover end after 300 plus x minutes goes from this position to this position so it is taking 300 plus x minutes so here you see you remember this point in one minute hover end make half degree so in 300 plus x minutes it will make 300 plus x by half degree here you see we have find this find this answer from this point in one minute we have half degree so in 300 plus x minutes we have 300 plus x by half or by 2 degree so angle made by this hover hand with respect to this reference line is 300 plus x by 2 degree now now the important thing have comes here you see these hands are together so we can say the angle made by both of these hands with respect to this reference line will be same because these hands are together so the angle made by these hands with respect to this reference line will also be same so now here angle made by this minute hand is 6x degree and angle made by our, our hand is 300 plus x by 2 degree and both of these angle you see 6x degree and 300 plus x by 2 degree both of these angles are same so we equate them you see so these angles are equal and we have got a new equation so from this equation we will find the value of x and the value of x is 300 by 11 which is nearly equal to 27 minutes now if you want to uh, find the exact value of x then you do not uh, make the do, do not take approx approx value of x this is the approx value of x 27 minutes and this is exact value now if we take for understanding we take approx value 27 minutes but in exam you must take exact value now for understanding we take approx value which is 27 minutes so we have found out that x is 27 minutes so this minute hand you see this minute hand is taking 27 minutes to go from this position to this position so this is 27 minutes and we also know that the time is between 5 and 6 so we can say the time is 5 27 
you see the hover hand has already covered 5 hours and then to go from 5 to this required position it is taking x minutes which is 27 minutes so the exact time is 5 hour 20, 27 minutes that is 527 and we can also say 27 past 5 so and that's how we find the time i hope you have understood thanks for watching